Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Universal Studios Orlando and I am so excited. There are a bunch of new things happening in the park. They opened up a brand new DreamWorks themed land and a bunch of new food items. I decided to come out and make a little video and show you. And then later on, we're going to the Orlando Informer meetup. This is one of my favorite things to do and I look forward to it all year long. We're basically gonna have the whole theme park to ourselves with the unlimited food. And I figured we'd uh, ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Universal Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I couldn't have picked a better day to be hanging out in a theme park. It is beautiful out right now. Temperatures are in the high 90s, and I'm excited to go explore. Maybe we'll do Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure today. Like I mentioned, Universal has a bunch of new things coming to the park. Uh, I'm uh, excited for the DreamWorks land. That's already open. They did a little soft opening. But uh, in just a couple of days, they're going to have a new parade, a new nighttime show. And it's all amazing things because I just got back from my trip and I went to Universal Studios Japan. And my favorite thing about that park was the parade there. The parade was amazing. And I hear that this parade is going to be just on that same level. So I'm excited. But today, Today we're just gonna browse around, check out the DreamWorks land, and eat some of the food, and kind of just hang out until the Orlando Informer later on tonight. I think I'm just gonna make my way back to DreamWorks land. This is where they're gonna have the nighttime show uh, coming out later this month. Wow, I still can't get over how nice it is. And look, you can see Jaws over there. Man, it's so beautiful. Universal Studios uh, during the summer is hot, but oh, the view is great. It's going to be a long day because we have the Orlando Informer meetup, like I mentioned, and that goes on till 1.30 in the morning. And honestly, people ask me all the time if I have any tips for people coming to Universal Studios. And I always immediately say, see if you can go to an Informer meetup because it's not whether you should it's whether you can because it's only on select nights and if you just add up the ticket prices the math just makes sense and you get unlimited food all you care to enjoy food and uh all the rides are basically walk on so like i'll give you more details later on and you know i'm gonna show the event but today we're gonna hang out go through dreamworks land and kind of just enjoy like I'm serious, I pulled up the tickets on the Universal app and I bought a one uh, day ticket for both parks with Express and it cost $499 just for today to come in the park and be able to go to both parks and have Express. It'll cost you $499 per person, but you can go to the Orlando Informer, which is tonight, and it's $250 per person and you get unlimited food and you, you can ride every Every single ride and like like I said the math just makes sense and do you know how many people show up today and they just pay that amount like there's dozens hundreds of people that are doing that so it's such a huge tip like I said, it's not whether you should, it's whether you can because the event sells out every single time it happens. Tonight's event is sold out and the next one, in, uh, I think it's this year, August 9th and 10th. Uh, and there's a, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can look up all the details. And I think with my link, you'll get $20, uh, $20 off your purchase. So I, this is like my biggest tip. If you really want to avoid the crowds and experience it, it's definitely at the Orlando Informer Meetup. And here it is, DreamWorks Land. Join the awesomeness. And I love it. I love seeing Shrek Swamp over there. E.T. got a new sign. Look at that sign. Looks nice for E.T. And as soon as you walk in, you can see Gabby and uh, Puss in Boots. Kind of doing a little meet and greet. Oh, and also Shrek and Donkey are over here in Swamp uh, Shrek Swamp Meet. Shrek Swamp Meet. Look at it. It looks so nicely themed. They used to have a Woody Woodpecker uh, roller coaster. Now it's a Trolls coaster. And like I said, some meat and greets and some swamp snacks. Swamp snacks. I like it. I'm loving the name of all of the different food items. You got a swamp dog, mud puddle pudding, mud puddle pudding, a far far a waffle, a Shrexel, a little Shrek pretzel, swamp slurps. Oh, I think we'll try some. We get, get a couple swamp snacks. I got the Shretzel. Oh, look at it, it's a little Shrek pretzel. And uh, it comes with, I think it's like a little green sauce. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. 
And also I got the pepperoni, the donkey pretzel, uh, the, the donkey pe pepperoni waffle. It's like a pizza waffle. Look at me. I got so much swamp food. It's, it's ridiculous. Swamp snacks. And uh, I don't know. I guess I'll start with this one. Yeah, I'm going to dive right on in. I'm just going for it. Probably yours first, you know? The pretzel itself is really good. It's got like a pillowy texture to it, and I like it. I even went ears first. I like this pretzel. I would eat it without the little sauce there. I rather do enjoy my eating arrangements. <laughs> you have to just be careful. Make sure you keep everything on the uh, little pieces of plastic. Uh, the waffle comes with a little uh, marinara sauce to dip into, and you can see the pepperoni and the cheese in there. Ooh. I like the idea behind it. You know, Universal's been making pizza tots, pizza fries, pizza waffles. Yeah, might as well. I ain't knocking it. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I think if I had to choose, though, between the snacks, I'd probably go with the pretzel because I just really like the texture of it. It's like a, it's a unique pretzel. I can see something like this for Halloween Horror Nights, you know? Enough of the swamp snacks. Now I want to explore the swamp a little bit. Donkey's out doing the meet and greet, but the line is capped already. That um, happened pretty quickly. Now, this is all in technical rehearsal. The land doesn't officially open for a couple days. So uh, it's like a special preview, along with a lot of other cool stuff. I'm glad that they kept the splash pad right here, though. Look, the only thing is, is I think they got rid of the water slide. It's a sad day. Looks like the water slides are gone. Welcome to Shrek Swamp. That's so sad, but look, you got Pinocchio up there. Have you tried Shrek's eyeballs too? Yummy! I like the Pinocchio, but I'm gonna miss the Fievel, uh, Feeble Fievel. Fievel goes west, uh, they have uh, like the water slide that used to be here. I, I thought it was such a cool attraction. Now it's a regular play area with just like uh, regular slides. Oh, there goes the Trolls coaster. It's the same coaster, they just repainted it and themed it to Trolls. It's a nice little coaster ride, like uh, it's like Goofy's. Uh, uh, roller coaster at uh, Magic Kingdom. It's over in like 50 seconds. Oh, they got some trolls treats. Oh wow, I like the uh, the Kung Fu training camp back there. Oh wow, there's a lot happening. Kind of like a little overload. The Kung Fu training camp is like a little splash pad, I think. This used to be Curious George. Oh boy, I don't want to get wet. <laughs> oh no, I don't know about all this. There's like little tiny uh, streams of water everywhere you step over here. And if you just walk in the wrong spot, you'll you'll definitely get wet. Look under here. Oop! I'm kind of scared anyway. I, oh! Oh boy. Nope! We've, uh, we've seen enough. I'm soaked enough from the sweat. I don't need to add any more to it. But at least I can use that as an excuse, you know? Go up and be like, wow, that guy was sweaty. I'm like, oh, no, no, I was just in the Kung Fu uh, training camp area, you know? <laughs> this whole area is really nicely well-themed. I like how they got the trolls just doing a meet and greet. They even have a show, Imagination Celebration. And uh, I think the next show is at 3.50, so maybe we'll stick around and watch it. We're going to wait and actually watch the show, but I did want to meet Shrek. That's why I wore this Roosevelt shirt, because it's like, you know, it's Shrek. And uh, if I can't meet him now, I can come back during the Orlando Informer meetup, because I think he does meet and greets during that, too, and I know there's going to be less line. But uh, I'm excited. The show might be a lot of fun, and I haven't seen anything yet, so I don't know what it's about. This just reminds me of Halloween Horror Nights, which I'm so excited for. Oh, but this is, uh, looks like it's going to be a full show. can tell you the AC feels amazing in here. Oh, and it's really pretty. I feel like I'm gonna walk right up on stage almost. <laughs> this is nice. Oh. Wait a minute, are you Princess Fiona? Oh, no, no, I'm not the princess. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Do you like parfait? Of course I do. See, I told you, everybody like parfait. We don't have time for this! Wow, what was that noise? 
she's right. Shrek, you need to go save the princess. Donkey, you need to distract the dragon. Excuse me? Uh, she's right. That's the sound of a... Absolutely amazing. I love the music, the dancing. Shrek had a great part. And it was cool just seeing the characters dancing. They were it was really, really fun. And uh, I liked it a lot. I would definitely come back again. And it gives more purpose to come down in this area. You know what I mean? I think there was a Barney show in there that I liked actually last time. Uh, and that was closed for the longest time. And it's nice to see this area getting the love that it has. It's getting the love that it deserves. <laughs> I think we're going to keep moving along and make our way up to the new tribute store. I want to duck in there and then probably head back to the hotel to get ready for the informer. Oh, it's so nice out though, but it is too hot. Much too hot. When people ask, like, how do you enjoy it when it's that hot out? You kind of just accept it. You just accept it. It's hot. I'm going to sweat a lot and I'm going to be sweaty. And uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't bother me anymore. I just kind of just go for it. So it's kind of strange because I, I mean, I'm living in Pennsylvania for the longest time. I used to be like, I can never live in Florida because it's way too hot. Now I'm just like, well, I'm here. <laughs> the tribute store this year is looking really, really cool. Ooh, and I'm liking the music. These tribute stores are just amazing. I love how this is set up like an old video store. And like I can see all the VHS's and I'm kind of looking at them. It kind of makes me feel a little nostalgic. Brings back good memories. Jaws, Back to the Future, Shrek, Twister, The Money Pit, The Burbs, Casper. Look at this and you get the horror section. I used to be so afraid walking in the horror section, but I always used to look at all the videos. Look at this. Firestarter, Dracula's Daughter, Fear with Mark Wahlberg. I kind of like that Halloween. This is really cool. Oh, and I like this Jaws hat. It's pretty fancy. I'm so excited that I got to be able to ride Jaws. Look at all, oh, they got a bunch of different Jaws stuff. The Amity Island sign, the little hat here. I got to ride Jaws just a couple of months ago at Tokyo. And, uh, uh, no, not Tokyo, uh, Universal Studios Japan in Osaka, and I loved it. <laughs> they even have an arcade section over here. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this jacket. I love this retro Universal Studios stuff. This is such a cool feeling to come and hang out in here. <laughs> it's a good way to get out of the AC and the carpet. Yo, this is just too great. I think he just said something too. Ooh, I like the lighting in here too. Seriously, if you're in the parks and you want to get out of the heat, this is the place to be. I feel so cooled off and better already. It just keeps going. Holy moly. Wow. Unbelievable. And then you got the jaws right here. Oh, it's a little light show. That tribute store was amazing. I love how Universal just found a way to just 
get me captivated to go shopping. Like, they just sell stuff in there, but they put so much effort and theming into it that I just get so excited to come out and check it out. And that one's like the best one I've seen, only because it's hitting all of my, it's hitting all my faves in one spot. E.T., Jaws, Ghostbusters. It was so, oh man, Back to the Future. Like, there were so many cool references in there. And I liked it a lot. Now, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go get ready for the Orlando Informer meetup. <laughs> You check in for the uh, Informer meetup uh, in the front of CityWalk here, back where the old Nickelodeon Studios uh, used to be. And then you're able to actually walk from each park for the whole entire night. So you don't have to come back out. You can just easily walk from one park to the next. You can get into the parks as early as 5 p.m. with your Orlando Informer Meetup ticket. And the event doesn't, like, the free food doesn't start until later on. But you have from 5 p.m. until park close to just hang out and enjoy the park. And then once all the regular day guests leave, the only people that will be left are the Orlando Informer Meetups. And that's when the free food starts and the low wait times happen. And all the other special, like, things that you can actually do only during the Orlando Informer former meetup and uh i think it's just like, like i said it's a lot you can easily do all the rides that you want to do in that time frame you're just swapping out the daytime for the nighttime so anyone that's a night owl probably would love this event the next uh, Orlando Informer meetup dates are right here. November 15th to the 16th, November 22nd to the 23rd, December 6th to the 7th, and December 13th to the 14th. So if you have your vacation during any of those times and you plan on buying a ticket to just Universal Studios, look into the Informer. Each night is different, either Friday or Saturday. A lot of people just come for the whole weekend. And Universal, uh, well, Orlando Informer actually works with the Universal Hotels. And they do, like, hotel packages and stuff like that. Uh, but the nights, they change. Like, the startup time sometimes will be 7 o'clock or 8 p.m. So it might close at, like, uh, 12.30 or 1.30. But it's usually the same thing. Uh, and uh, either way, it's good. Now, tonight, I think it's a little bit later. So we're just going to to hang out and wait and uh then eventually ride a bunch of rides and eat food and it's just like so like i said it's a lot it's a, it's so much fun there it is nickelodeon studios they also have grinchmas in there and before that was the blue man group that's why they changed the colors but oh man i wish i was here i never got to see it when it was like that and that's a little orlando and former meetup sign there too now that we're all checked in, there's like uh, some food uh, offerings uh, in, I think, Soundstage 20 that you get to eat on before you head out to the parks. And then uh, later on, it turns into a dessert, a little dessert lounge. Oh, look at that. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Oh, it's busy in here. Oh, look, at they got hot dogs over here. I'm not gonna be eating no hot dog. I know what's to come later on. Oh man, look at that, free shepherd's pie. They're really trying to get you to fill up on stuff before the good stuff. Vegan chili? Oh, okay. Got a little spot where you can get some beer and cocktails. And then they've got like a special punch for the night. That looks kind of good. I might get a little punch. It's nice. They've got like, you know, hot dogs and chips and vegan pie and punch, but I'm saving my appetite for later. Looks like they're getting ready. They're setting up DJ stands and they're switching out the marquee to say Orlando Informer. And it's starting to get dark out. I'm excited. Earlier I was talking about Halloween Horror Nights and look, I know they announced a Quiet Place house and they actually have merchandise already. I'm so excited for this year. And they even have like some cool new hats. I might get myself a fancy new hat. Like this one over here. It's kind of like the logo. I don't know how I feel about it. Where horror lives. I ended up buying the hat. I'm excited for Halloween Horror Night. So now I have some, uh, you know, merchandise and some headwear. I have a lot of hats. I have a lot, a lot of hats. And uh, I don't know. It's just something I like to buy. I got a lot of hats and shirts. The park is now officially closed and uh, they have security checking wristbands. So anyone that's not attending and doesn't have the wristband, they can't go farther. Wristband! 
we're sitting here at Riker's Burgers. This is one of the restaurants that opens up early. And I'm kind of like deciding I want to wait to go to the Simpsons. Because when you go to the Simpsons, you can get like five different food spots all at once. Like you go in there and they have like the quick service with fresh fruit. They have watermelon. They have Caesar salads. They have cold wraps. And then they have fried chicken. They have crusty burgers. They have pizza. They've got fish and chips. Like they've got shrimp, calamari. It's insane all at one spot. And you can literally try all of the Simpson food for free. Like it's included. It's just there. You just go take and it's so cool. So I think we're going to wait to start there. The Orlando Informer meetup officially has begun. And look at there's almost nobody here. And the, the little snack stand over here already started giving out food, like just right now. So I think we're going to go see what they got, get something from there. Then we got to make our way over to Simpsons. But look, there's literally, it's so empty. It's crazy. And this is going to be for, the park's open for like another three and a half hours. Can you just get whatever you want? Uh, yes. Oh, all right. Can I get a cinnamon pretzel? Oh, icy? Yes. Oh, can I get the uh, blue raspberry icy? Blue raspberry Yeah. Is that how much is already rung in so far? Yeah. Wow, $798? Whoa, cool. And I get a pretzel and an icy. Yo, you literally just go up and just, you know, get whatever you want. I got a cinnamon pretzel and a little blue uh, icy. Like I said, it reminds me of Ames or Hills. I used to get a pretzel and a slushie whenever I went there. My mom would always get it for me and be like, oh, that's for being good. So not running around the store, which happened frequently. <laughs> I'm gonna nurse this for a little bit because I do want to make my way over to the Simpsons area where we're just gonna get more food and then we're gonna ride rides. All the rides are a ride now. You could do this little twirl and hurl. And look, like there's like almost nobody around here. It's just nice walking around. Got the whole place to yourself. And I think they already started giving out the free food. Wow, see, look at it. It's so quiet. And like I said, this is early in the night. It's gonna get even quieter probably in like an hour or two. You could probably stand on the street and only see like one person every 10, 20 minutes. We're going in Moe's. Oh. You can literally get something to eat from every single stand. Something from Luigi's, they got pizza, the Frying Dutchman has a fried shrimp clam chowder. Cletus's Chicken Shack has chicken wings and chicken and waffle sandwiches, a crusty burger. You get a crusty burger or a sideshow foot long. I think we're gonna try a little bit from everything. Our first stop. And over in Lisa's Treehouse, look, they have the fruit and the salad and the sandwiches, and it's just grab and go. Look at that, they got wraps, fruit, and you just literally take it and then go sit down and eat. Isn't that insane? Oh, little sandwiches here too. Veggie sandwiches or Caesar salads. I'm gonna grab uh, some chicken. I'm grabbing some chicken. This is everything we got right in the Simpsons area. We got chicken wings, tater tots, a chicken and waffle sandwich, a crusty burger, a sideshow foot long hot dog, a meat lover's pizza, and one of the cold wraps. All in one shot and it just started. That's a lot of food. And this is like not bad looking food. Look at this chicken and waffle sandwich. Well put together, nice and presentable. And it's got some nice little sauce on there and the tater tots are looking good. I'm going in. That's a good chicken sandwich. Honestly, it's nice to see a crisp waffle and uh, it's not like horrible theme park food. You think it's gonna be crazy, but these tater tots are amazing. I'm all about the tater tots already. The fact that we have chicken wings and pizza all in one shot and the chicken wings are so good. Oh, look at that. Ooh. The waffle sandwich is a great example of like it actually looks good, but honestly, I don't have the highest hopes for this uh, Sideshow Bob footlong hot dog. In fact, I can see why it's like Sideshow Bob. It's kind of shady. That's all I'm saying. So I think we're going to go maybe something different for now. Even though I feel like we probably shouldn't eat anything else because we had a little bit of everything there, I do want to keep moving along. And the tater tots were probably one of my favorite things. And the chicken wings. Chicken wings were fantastic. But there's also the donuts. They had the donuts outside. 
those big pink donuts you can actually get. I've always wondered, you know, like when I used to come here, I used to be like, I wonder what they tasted like because I never wanted to buy one. And now you can just figure it out. They just get, go up and ask for one. Hi, uh, can I get a pink donut? And uh, what else do you have? Ice cream? Oh, I'll take a bottle of water and a pink donut. Look, $1,339 already. And donuts! <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. You just walk away. It's like the greatest feeling ever. Like, it's so amazing. Like I, It's the one night you really got to give all in. Just got to go out and know like it's vacation mode. Donuts and water. Hmm. All of the rides in this park right now are a ride now. I see Hagrid's definitely has a long wait, but I feel like Hagrid's like, it's the greatest ride that's ever like been built. Like I think it's Universal's greatest ride. It's always gonna have like a long line, but I think it's like anywhere from 35 to 45 minutes. Uh, and I think maybe we're gonna take the train. Then we're gonna hop over parks and go over to Islands of Adventure. I might swing in to grab a hot butter beer for the train ride over. Hi, Hi how are ya? It's good to see you again. Oh, good to see you. Have a good night. Hope you eat lots. <laughs> but look at how amazing this is. Like, this is what you're paying for. It, there's like nobody over here. And I think there's like a hot butter beer stand right on the inside here. I think we might just hop in and grab a little, grab a little butter beer. Oh yeah, look at this. It's literally just grab and go on the butter beer. That's incredible. Oh, is this the hot butter beer? Oh, I'm gonna take one of those. Can I have a cold one too? Yeah, that's the cold butter beer right here. Cold butter beer? I know. I'm gonna maybe you know I might come back for more. I'll try all of them. That's the frozen one. As much as you want. Ooh, I don't know how to carry them. I am team hot butter beer all the way. Even when it's like so hot I'm sweating to death, I am drinking the hot butter beer. But I did get a cold one too, and you can get the pumpkin juice. You heard me, you can have all you want. You just go up and grab one. I think I'm gonna take my butter beer on the road though, so we can go catch the Hogwarts Express. People always wanna see what Diagon Alley's like at this event, look at that. Pretty empty. It's also a very good time. I think this the event just started, so I think what it's gonna look like in probably about an hour or two. It's a good time to come and get photos. The crazy thing is, nobody's waiting to talk to the night bus, but the night bus driver is talking the head yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes the moon and star align, and you're all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, I'm all right. Yeah. Hey, how, how are you? Yeah. Uh, hey, what's up? Hey, you guys doing good? Uh, yeah, not bad, really. You know, be, uh, been better, been worse. You know, treat oh. me like a nobody. <laughs> oh, a nobody! <laughs> that was clever. All right, well, if you don't need nothing. Now we're good. We're started. All right. Yeah, well, I appreciate so it. Take nice care time. and cheers. That was nice. I can't believe they were just talking to each other. There's nobody waiting over there, and I walked over, and they were just having a conversation. <laughs> They have the walkway that's open where you can walk back and forth, but King's Cross is uh, right now. Look at that. Right now. So, am I, I mean, honestly, I like this ride. I'm going to take us right on over into uh, Hogsmeade. Thank you. We took the train all the way over to Islands of Adventure. Now I think we're gonna cut through. I wanna see what the wait time for Hagrid's is. And I wanna make my way through Jurassic Park and maybe over to King Kong, stop and get a Kong Dong over at one of the stands. Any places we can get food on the way. The crowds over on Island Side aren't too bad either. As we go into Hogsmeade, look. Normally it's a lot busier. Now, oh, we can get more butterbeer. How are you? Having a good night? Oh, I'm doing good. 
the event has so far been so impressive because I've been eating so much food and I'm with some friends also so luckily I'm, I'm not eating all the food and uh, all the wait times are like completely ride nows except for Hagrid's 45 minutes but I, I you know that's like it's it's crazy it's crazy that that ride is still so popular even Velocicoaster that ride is the newest ride and it's a ride now but Hagrid's so many people want to ride it and they'll just keep riding it over and over again if it was just a little bit less of a wait I probably would I definitely would but I, I I do love that ride now we're gonna keep moving along and I don't know maybe we'll ride something maybe go on Kong get something to eat I feel like it's been a long day the three broomsticks is open and I think you just walk up and they have apple pie and a whole bunch of different good stuff oh well, you get oh fish and chips right here. Thank you. Have a good one. And then oh, is this apple? Apple pie? Apple pie. I'll take an apple pie. And Thank the you. Pie's gonna be yeah. Oh, shepherd's pie. Yo, this is like I said. We got a nice little salad there. Oh, a fruit cup. Oh my god. Oh. Oh hi. No worries. Look at all this food. Fish and chips, shepherd's pie, apple pie. Yo, it's just so much food. It's endless food. Honestly. The fish and chip is uh, the fish and chips is looking pretty good. And crispy too. Honestly, I'm loving the fish and chips. Now I'm gonna get some of the shepherd's pie. A little shepherd's pie. And I also got a lemonade too. Like this is so much food, isn't it? Shepherd's pie is good too. Yo. <laughs> wow, look. What a beautiful view. Oh, and I'm loving the music too as we're walking around. Oh, also, I forgot to get the butterbeer stand. So you can grab a butterbeer on your way out. Or you can just grab a gilly water, which is always good. I'm going to skip the butterbeer and high quality H2O. There we go. It's so cool how you can go from Harry Potter to Jurassic Park. Hey, how are you, man? You having a good day? Velocicoaster is a ride now. A nice little nighttime ride. Oh, that actually sounds like not a bad idea. It's so fun. It's so thrilling, actually. But I don't think I can film on it. Velocicoaster was worth it. And it was a, the, the no minute wait. You literally just walked in and I probably would do it again. It actually cooled me off a lot. I feel so much better. <laughs> oh, I might get myself an ice cream cone. Hi. Hello. Oh, $853 so far. Can I get an ice cream cone? A cone, vanilla, or pineapple? Oh, I'll take vanilla. vanilla. But they got pineapple, that's a good choice. Oh, now that makes it 853, oh, 858.67. That's a lot of ice cream. I am just walking through Superhero Island, eating ice cream. The only thing that would stop, or the only thing that would get me to eat more food is probably Cinnabon. <laughs> the Green Goblin's doing like a stare down in the middle of uh, Superhero Island here. And like a grand shimmering light, the Cinnabon is open. Look how bright it is over here. Everyone coming to gather the center of the roll. A perfect way to end the night at the center of a cinnamon roll. Hi. Hi. Can I get a center of the roll? Oh, $2,733. Yo, that's crazy. Thank you. Oh, look at that. So ooey gooey. To be fair, I did say cinnamon, uh, Cinnabon would be the only thing, and I gotta end it with that. So, as you guys can see, it's so worth it. Uh, you, you basically have the whole park. Everything is a ride now. Hagrid's is 35 minutes. I'm gonna eat Cinnabon, call it a night, and the park is still open for like another hour. I'm just throwing in the towel. Uh, like I said, there's a link in the description if you wanna see more, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.